today we have a, a competition event that ranges from both primary and secondary students competing um, using robots. And so this is our 20th year that we've been running this event and we have kids from Longreach, Mara, Biloela, um, and Bundaberg and Rockhampton region. There's a whole wide variety of skills. There's your general your IT and your engineering skills, but there's also other sort of skills like teamwork, and also some of them actually uh, build robots to uh, participate in dance. And so in the dance, they do a choreography and the students will build props and, and dance with the robots and those sort of things. So there's, you know, you do have your traditional IT and engineering skills, but there's a lot more than just that. So uh, the, these skills and these careers are, are vital. Like we're seeing, you know, autonomous cars being developed now. There's, you know, some of the, the large companies and they're building driverless cars and they, and, and basically they're building cars with sensors and that sort of stuff to, to detect objects and to actually make decisions. It's the same thing here that we have. So we have the three categories that we're performing. So that we have the dance where they build the robots and dance, but we also have a uh, rescue category where it's an automated, so there is no remote control or anything. They press a button, it must navigate a random track and go and do what we call a pretend um, scenario where they rescue this victim from a chemical spill. And then with the soccer, uh, we have the Matildas playing in the World Cup at the moment. So we have our uh, robot soccers where, again, no controls or anything else. They use sensors to detect the ball. They use compasses to know which direction to go in and to robots actually competing and scoring some goals. Most of the kids here will be using Lego robots. They don't have to, but you know, a lot of people see the Lego robots as just as a toy, but actually they can be used, um, you know, for a variety of things. And so, you know, these um, sensors for detecting the balls, for uh, colour sensors to detect pass and that sort of stuff, so they've improved. Um, we've been fortunate enough to actually have people compete from the CQ region at the state and national levels, and we've actually been quite successful in that in the past. The biggest buzz I get from here is seeing the enthusiasm and the excitement of the kids. Um, some of the kids here will have some issues and, you know, they won't be able to get over these bumps or go up the seesaw or things like that they have to navigate. But the kids will learn more today than in the months leading up and you'll see them overcome challenges and they'll see other teams and they'll collaborate like, hey, that's a great idea. And so it, it's for them, the learning, the light bulb moments and they go, ah, oh. and, and so that's what really excites me. We're coding robots to dance to music and like not with sensors, but we program them to do a little dance and we do a dance with them. We've got to try to make sure the robots don't run into each other and they go at, the sort of at least sort of map, like interact. It yeah. takes a long time. We've spent a term and a half, yeah. two hours each afternoon on yeah. each week, right so yeah. and um, yeah, quite a bit. It's just fun. Yeah, the other yeah. teams also have really good performances. Yeah, so, they yeah. all do. So it's always a close call. It does really help like your resilience and like your persistence as well. Like there are so many times where you're like coding and you're like, oh, you think it's gonna work, and then you try it and it doesn't work. And it's like, it do, it is frustrating, but you you do like learn some good skills from it. I think that's a really important skill, just in general. Yeah.